I know it's not going to show up at all and this uh, fishing boat's going to scare them away but there's a bunch of sharks surfacing in the middle of the channel right ahead of us. sharks? In this episode we start at Jared Bay in Adams Creek, go to Moorhead City, stop at Beauford for a long period of time because we had to change our diesel tank and somewhere along there we also enjoyed Thanksgiving with friends. Ginger really enjoyed being in a wide open space and being off the leash so she could run around for a change. If you enjoy our videos, please click like and maybe even subscribe. I didn't even have to tell her what to say, she knew. <laughs> we have never seen this before. I mean that barge looks like it's almost to the top of the water. It's creating a bow wave and whatever's on it was kind of blowing around earlier. It is so long. It's got another tug following it. Lisa and I were both kind of surprised to see this beach on the opposite side of our dock this morning because, you know, the weather was so blowy and blustery and the tide being what it was, we didn't get to see this. This is cool. Yeah, it's, a, it's a nice dockage. It's fairly isolated. But it's pretty. And this is what it looks like as the sun is going down here in Adams Creek, North Carolina. Nice bright moon. Stars are starting to come out. So one of the most fascinating boats in this huge yard with enormous boats is this uh, old wooden either ferry or cruiser i mean absolutely marvelous looking except for all the work <laughs> to restore this this monster olympus from new york I'm not going to venture on the decks, but it does look like uh, somebody's doing some ongoing work. Looks like it has some modern navigation equipment, modern radio. Down here you can see that uh, the ribs are being numbered as they're replacing them. In the front you can see where they've already replaced one or two of them. You might be able to see the clamps there as they're holding the new ones in place. So yeah, they're definitely restoring this beauty. <music> I know it's not going to show up at all and this uh, fishing boat's going to scare them away but there's a bunch of sharks surfacing in the middle of the channel right ahead of us. Say sharks? Maybe we'll get really great pictures. Yeah, we scared them off now. Oh, there they are.
next to us. Coming right at us. Holy shit! Look at that. And behind us. And here we are in downtown Morehouse City. We are one block water side of the busy downtown main drag and a nice quiet residential neighborhood with some lovely homes. And someone did a beautiful job with this garden. And again, this is a continuation of the residential street that fronts the water one street down from the uh, business street district. We have left Moorhead City, gone around the uh, state pier. There's the bridge we went under yesterday. Going around Radio Island. Looks like a nice sandy island people might want to hang out in. Remnants of an old fort of some kind. I'm sure that was a good defensive position right at the mouth. And we're going around it down here. And then we'll be turning up around going to Beaufort. Just have to turn around the uh, preferred channel marker. And this is the other side of Radio Island as we're heading around towards Beaufort, North, uh, North Carolina. Again, lots of pretty sand. Some people out there fishing on the shore. A little boat out there fishing. Good day to stay inland though. It's gonna be nasty outside in the ocean for the next couple of days. Here are some birds hunkered down on the spoil area on the opposite side of the channel from Radio Island. Trying to keep warm, I guess, on the sand. So we are here in beautiful Beaufort, North Carolina. The first street from the, uh, the water is very commercial. A lot of uh, tourist uh, stores, restaurants. But um, one of the streets coming up from the water here is just lined with beautiful old historic homes. Excuse me. The oldest I saw there was um, 1774. And a uh, lot from the 1800s. And it's sort of nice that all these old houses have a uh, plaque on them, which. Uh, names the house and has the year that it was built so you don't have to uh, guess based on architectural style this one 1904 <clears throat> and Richard just stepped on his first pecan I can't wait till he steps on his first palmetto bug and here is a home 1764. Beautifully pres preserved and restored. Okay, so we decided we'd take a picture of Richard sitting in Santa's chair. And you see behind him the animatronic reindeer. Ginger does not like it. This is what you do in your cruiser. You hang your towels out to dry. Sometimes they're just towels you use for drying the boat in the morning, getting the dew off. So that's what we do when we go to dock or whether we're at anchor or any time. Today, however, we happen to be docked beside a $964,000 50-foot catamaran. So, they decorate for Christmas a little different around here. And you can sit out on your dock 
or in your boat with your Christmas tree. Tonight we are going to anchor outside of Beaufort, North Carolina. Such a pretty, pretty town. A couple of boats in the anchorage here today. Not as many as there were when we first came in three days ago. That's the extent of the downtown and all the way down there. It gets, starts getting a little shallow for us, but that's okay. You can see one of the tour boats coming out now. Want to start again? Yep. 48. 48 inches. Two. Two inches. Twenty-seven. Twenty-seven inches. Twenty-seven and a half. Twenty-seven and a half inches. Twenty-seven and a half. Twenty-seven and a half. Okay, did we get everything? I think we got everything. And it took us less than half an hour to get this out. Tuna. Now that is what I call a fish. Uh, you're not catching that in Lake Erie. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. I want to know how they got that fish into the boat. Okay, and you got to get your championship photograph here. <laughs> and one more with the boat in the background. So here they're measuring how long it is. Today is the second day of tuna season and apparently they had a bunch of boats come in yesterday with fish. This is the first one today. Although uh, the guy at the marina predicted there would be fewer boats coming in. It's a little windier which either means fewer guys go out or fewer guys get fish. We are at the Moorhead City, Beaufort, North Carolina boat parade and those sailboats that you see in the distance are in the anchorage that we were at um, two nights ago. We would have had a great view from the anchorage, however, instead we went over to uh, Town Docks Marina, Town Creek Marina, and we got our gas tank, our diesel tank removed. So over here you have a bunch of kayakers with uh, blue and white lights on their kayak and then behind them you have a sailboat that looks like Christmas threw up on it. That is pretty amazing. Okay, the kayaks have the outline of a leaping dolphin. John would say it's the outline of a shark, but I think it's supposed to be a dolphin. And there are three dolphins and a lighthouse. And here is a Christmas shark, because what would Christmas be without a shark? And there are our three dolphins accompanying this fishing boat. This is boat number three. I think there is a contest.
but this is boat number three. You gotta like the joint effort. Oh my gosh. This is a huge floating Christmas tree. That looks like the U.S. Coast Guard. Uh, I think you're right. <laughs> that would make sense to have Coast Guard while leading the flotilla. <laughs> Well, it's good to know that the Coast Guard is here. That's probably a good thing, actually. <laughs> is that the boat that brought in that uh, sailboat? Might be. I know, it, the right size. I know it was big. And here is another fishing boat. Oh, oh yeah. my yeah, so gosh, not. it has a marlin, uh, marlin, is that what it is? Yeah, Outlined so. in lights and uh, icicle lights hanging from its um, outriggers. Oh my gosh, it's Santa's boat. Santa Claus, Santa Claus. is on the bow of that boat. Santa and dancing sharks and dancing parrots and an elf a inflatable uh, snow bear what are they called polar bear Snoopy oh no that's an inflatable white deer but there is Santa Claus Santa Claus baby shark parrot elf Snoopy Nothing says Christmas like Snoopy. There's the skipper. And oh, got a little on the back they have a line. tropical paradise with pink flamingos and uh, palm trees. Okay, that truly is the most spectacular boat of the parade. So far. <laughs> and here we have another little fishing boat with a dancing fisherman. All right. Dancing fisherman in his uh, foul weather gear. And we got a dancing uh, reindeer, dancing Santa's elves. An interesting advertisement for, um, what is it, Grundon's uh, fishing gear. Watch me shake my Cordura <laughs> backside protection. And here is another big fishing boat. Holy cow, this is quite the light show. Lasers, inflatables. Oh my gosh, this is the alien the boat. Christmas alien. The Christmas alien, because nothing says Merry Christmas like an alien. And a flying cow. The flying saucer on top. Oh, the of flying saucer is sucking the cow up into its belly. That is incredible. Richard, Ginger, and I are sitting here at the end of the dinghy dock in Beaufort, North Carolina, watching the Christmas Boat Parade. And um, it is absolutely amazing. And Richard said, I should be a parade announcer. And this whole front porch itself is like a Christmas float. And this is so tastefully and elegantly decorated. This is just to show you that you don't need a big boat to get big tuna. Okay, and here he is posing with his fish. <laughs> Here's Lisa wetting out the surface that we're about to, we as in she, 
This is both to apply the new fiberglass tabbing to. This is where the new diesel tank is going. And now she's about to lay down the fiberglass cloth. Which has been thoroughly saturated with the resin. We're using epoxy resin because you can put epoxy over polyester resin, but it doesn't necessarily work as well the other way. I'm not sure whether or not with, uh, those nice people at S2 Yachts used uh, polyester or epoxy resin. They probably did use polyester or polyvinyl because um, it's cheaper. So, this way it's certain to work as opposed to probably will work. Because once we get the gal the 50 gallon diesel tank in there with, taken. no, no. <laughs> the diesel tank's pretty light. It only weighs like maybe 30 pounds, but, because it's made out of aluminum, when you put 50 gallons of diesel in there at 7.1 pounds per gallon, well, that's over 350 gallons. 350 pounds. There are pounds rather, yeah. Can I use your knife again? Sure. It was a little annoying having to buy the cloth and the resin and the hardener and everything because we have all that back in Michigan. But you can't take everything with you. And we didn't think we'd have to be doing as major a fiberglassing job as this. So we thought our Thixo injection would fix anything that we needed. But. Okay, I need your help to pour. Here's another boat just came in with a tuna. So the dark came out. And of course you have to have your picture taken with your big tuna. I did see this fish get lifted out of the back of this boat and I literally have no idea how they fit it in there. This boat looks so small. So for the last couple days we've been watching these tuna boats come in and we have seen some tiny boats bring in some 800 pound fish but this is a big boat so i'm hoping they have a thousand pound fish So we were sitting here in the boat and I look out the window and there's a boat flying through the air next to us. Standing down. Oh, there she looked at me. This is about being a bad date. Ooh, nothing you need to worry about. You don't need to use booties on our boat. No, mm. no, sometimes. Don't but tell now, that. yeah, don't tell it. Now that I've got the uh, diesel cans off, I'm gonna wash that side of the deck. And there's Ginger I trying to decide whether she can come off. Ooh, it is just a little blustery out here. Lightning must be out to sea though, it's a while before you hear the thunder. Another beautiful night! At uh, the... Yeah, another beautiful, like Lisa said, another beautiful night to be tied up at dock. So here we have the wires all run and the uh, neoprene over the, the wooden chocks on the side. Um, affixed with uh, 
4,200 because that's faster curing than the uh, 5,200. Our uh, wiring in place and wish us luck. Of course, having the dog in the middle of the boat makes everything easier, but she wants to help so much. And it's not pretty, but you can see the neoprene strips um, glued to the bottom of the tank with um, 4200. A lot of tight maneuvering here, but I got to put the phone down now. So Ginger was essential in helping us get the fuel tank dry fitted. Couldn't and... have done it with odor. Just couldn't have done it with odor. Thursday, December the 14th. Here we are going through the ICW. Still in North Carolina because we had to stop for two weeks and get a new diesel tank. Beautiful, a little gusty. But uh, kind of chilly. 